I've learned so much from American Book Review. When I got my MS in publishing, I felt like, okay, I know that I want to work in the publishing world, but American Book Review really took what I was learning there and made it what I really just want to do. I know lots of students who get their English degrees elsewhere or publishing degrees, history degrees elsewhere, and it's just a lot different. Here, we have that community, that comradeship between uh, our fellow majors, and I think that the ABR readings bring us together. The heartbeat of American Book Review really are the writers who provide the voice for sort of the unseen world of American letters. ABR is so important to writers everywhere. I love the American Book Review series. I love what it does. I like that it brings not only students and faculty and authors together, but it also brings in community members. The most rewarding aspect of the American Book Review is being able to share it with community and students, uh, getting to see their faces when they meet writers and uh, get to ask them questions. You see all these writers and you get to talk to them. It's really interesting to see how they work in their writing and you can kind of try to implement that into your own writing. Sometimes when we see anybody who's really good and gifted at something and they make something sort of look easy, it can be revelatory. And that's how we learn. We see something that's new to aspire to. The mission of the American Book Review is to review frequently neglected works of American writing, uh, works from small presses, uh, women's literature, ethnic literature, sort of from the margins of American letters. Being able to continue to publish this uh, work now going into our 40th year is, is a very enjoyable, rewarding experience. Every time I get to meet an author for the reading series, it's just a wonderful moment. They all have such a unique voice, and I really like everybody who comes because everybody has something different to say. Thank you so much for that too, too kind introduction. Thanks to all of you for having me here. We've come a long way since our first reading. To date, we've had uh, close to 90 writers participate. Uh, the reading series has become nationally recognized and re nationally coveted among writers. It's a chance to, you know, sort of speak through the noise and provoke and stimulate. This reading series in particular gives something I think that the big city readings don't. A really interesting opportunity to connect with writers. They always say don't give up on your writing. Every single author has said that in one way or another. I know we have a poster somewhere on campus that calls it an, a haven for the humanities. I really think that that's what UHV is. It's a haven for the humanities. One of the experiences that often happens when writers come here, I'd say four out of five say, wow, this place is special. I wish my university did this. ABR does just a terrific job.